good morning. Hey everybody. Good morning. Time to wake up and make up. It's 7.30 here this morning here in Idaho and it's Sunday. But I'm still getting up <laughs> and I'm still getting my makeup on. So okay, hey, good morning. I uh, thought I would do these wake up and makeups at least for, you know, the next week or so just to come on. I got to get up anyway. Having a home business, I still and most of us were still at home. Hey, Kim. Hey, Lois. Good morning, everybody. Just going to get up, put my makeup on, go live and just practice and do it get going for the day so <laughs> thank you isn't this top cute it's so warm and cozy I think I got it at Marshall's which is so fun because you never know when you go in there what you're gonna find even online it's kind of fun so all right so good morning I am going to do just a quick makeup uh, later today I have some more tutorials that I'm gonna record for my business so I thought I would just put some makeup on this morning and get going so I hope everybody's doing great. The first thing I'm going to do this morning is I've been using my mascara cream contours um, and the one that I've been using lately that I'm just really liking is this Aspen and what it is it's a cream contour but it's this Aspen color and it's kind of like this taupey, taupey tan color and I've been using it on my areas that I have really large pores that tend to show up when I apply um, my other makeup. So I know a lot of us have pores. It also works great for scar tissue. So this is just a really nice primer. I really, really like it. And so I'm using it on the end of my nose where I have some scar tissue, just a very thin layer on my chin where I have really pronounced pores. I also have, they're kind of more pronounced right in this little area right here. So it's a very soft, neutral color, but it tends to just almost, well, it like a primer. It doesn't really fill them in, but I kind of feel like it does. But it's just, so it's kind of hard to see, but I put it here on my nose, right in this little area in here, and that's it. Um, and it just kind of helps fill in and prime those areas before I put the rest of my um, cream foundations on. So the next thing I like to do that's kind of a pre- makeup pre foundation pre main highlight is to go in and color correct a few areas um, like sunspots this uh, hyper pigmentation around my eyes and I do that this is our detail hack brush it helps blur thank you Kim that is great so I'm just gonna grab just a little bit of this mango and for me this is a great color corrector shade and I like to use it underneath and on top of my eyelids so I have a lot of really pigment hyper pigmentation I guess is what that is where it almost looks like around my eye that I have like brown or orange makeup on but I don't it's just discoloration so by putting that you see the difference there already this kind of looks like I have eye makeup on I don't that's just my discoloration but when I put that mango color that almost matches the shade I'm not going with a lighter shade I'm actually trying to conceal with a shade that's almost that same tone or that same color and so I'm just putting a thin layer underneath my eye and on my eyelids in that area where I have that and that really helps again conceal and just well bring it back to a normal tone okay so then I've got up here I've got a mole and some sun damage and then right here is my biggest problem this area right here where I've got that and so why I'm doing this first is because I'm gonna go this is kind of the area that I'm gonna put my contour and contour adds coverage it adds color it's part of my 3d foundation I use mascara makeup mascara cream highlights and contours and I'm gonna contour in these areas and so when I go to do that it adds coverage and adds color and so I want to just kind of conceal these areas that are a little bit darker okay redness around my nose all right so that's just kind of a little bit of prepping ahead of time with some primer which I'm using it was a contour color it's a cream contour called um, Aspen works really great for priming pores scar tissue 
Um, even redness, if you're super light toned, you can use that as a, as a concealer. And then um, I used a little bit of this mango, which is a highlight to um, conceal. Now the next thing I'm going to do is go in and contour real quick. And I'm just going to use this uh, detail hack brush, which is highlight and contour is what that means. And it this one is great for applying your contour. It just makes it really easy. So I'm just going to take this squared off end and I'm going to brush it into this contour color called um, Ash. <laughs> they both start with A's. Ash. So when I do my custom color match consultations, and we could do I do that virtually with everyone, um, with a no makeup selfie, I'm able to determine what colors, what shades of contours and highlights, which is what we call our foundations, work for your skin tone. So right now what I'm doing is I'm going in and I'm just right up underneath my cheekbone. I'm swooping and adding some contour just to define and add a shadow right underneath those cheekbones. So you're just kind of coming up by the ear. And I always say, you know, I love doing this where you kind of you put this, you start up by your ear right here, and then you want it to end like about the middle of your eye. So from here in, you you want the you don't want any contour. Not down into this area where your laugh lines are. You want to be able to see just a bit of it from the front when you're looking forward. You want to be able to see a little bit of that. We'll blend all that in when we're done. And the great thing about cream is that if you get too much or you get it where you don't want it, you can just blend. It just It's all going to get blended in. And you can push it back and lift it if you need to. Okay? So the next place I want to contour is up on my forehead. And why am I doing that? Well, a couple reasons. I can add a shadow to help lower or define my forehead. So if I have a really tall, really long forehead, which I do, I think it's longer than average. It with no bangs, this helps pull or pull your eye down when you're looking um, at me so that my, that this part of my face is what is brightened and everything else around is going to be shadowed. So this part of my face is going to hopefully when I'm done be the part that gets pulled forward and that kind of is brightened and stands out. So I am just applying the contour, I'm just kind of brushing it in up here at the top and leaving this part brighter. All right, easy, easy. And then coming down underneath your ear and your jaw, we can add some contour to define our jaw and define and pull that down our neck underneath our chin where we've got, you know, if you're starting to get like a, you know, looser skin, double chin, a little bit of jowls, this really helps add a shadow. If you pull that down where the natural shadows would already sit, that really does help <clears throat> kind of camouflage and define your jaw. And you just brush that down. And that is it. Pretty easy contouring. Not too hard, nothing too scary about that at all. And we'll blend all that in when we're done. And feel free to ask me any questions too. I'll definitely try to answer them as we go along. But I just thought, you know, Come on, and we'll just do some wake up makeup. And I hope you guys are doing doing that. I hope you're getting up, and even on Sundays, because it's all kind of blurring together right now, the days, um, to get up and get your makeup on. It just makes you feel better. Okay, so the next step I'm going to do is apply my main foundation, which we call highlights, which is kind of confusing. So this is just a great all around brush. Um, is it expensive, Danielle? I would love to get you a color match. It is not. and. I don't think. I mean, everything is relative. These little tins, which is, they're, they're, they come in tins like this. Let me show you. And they are $14. And they come like this in a little tin, and you pop them open. And then they slide into a compact, which you get for free when you order your makeup, depending on how many you order. And then you just get color matched to the colors that work for you. And um, that's really pretty great. I think it's pretty reasonable and they last a really long time. Um, like the contours can last for up to a year, your highlights and your brightening colors should last you about three to four months. So we'll, we'll reach out to each other. Um, this here is our blush and bronzer brush and this is a great brush. All of the brushes are dual purpose. This side here I like to use to apply. It gives me nice kind of medium 
to natural coverage. Um, it works for the, these all are made to work with the cream foundations and I'm just going to tap just two. It's super, super pigmented. Just two little taps right into that and then I'm going to start applying it wherever I have wherever I would put normal foundation, right? Okay, so, but I already put foundation or highlight on my eyelids and underneath, so I'm not gonna put more there. I already have contour, which provides coverage. I'm not gonna go over the top of it with this. I'm just gonna put it where um, I don't have any coverage yet. So I'm gonna stipple or pounce a little bit right up in here. Two more taps on my brush, and then let's put some along the side of my face kind of on the inside of my nose. Now, I did put that primer on my nose, but I definitely want to go over the top of it with my main highlight and down here. But I'm avoiding the contoured area because you already have a coverage there. So that's, it all kind of works together. That's kind of why they call we call it a 3D foundation because it all works together to create one foundation. Since we're not all one color, it's kind of nice to have these different shades of um, color corrector highlights, main foundations, a brightener, all of that kind of works together. All right, so that's pretty much, you know, you just put a little bit on, you don't need a lot. I haven't even reloaded. I'm mostly just kind of blending right now and stippling. Um, as the cream makeup warms up on your skin, it's movable and blendable. So like I say right now, there's there's really nothing on the brush. I didn't re-tap. I'm just kind of doing a little bit of blending and just making sure that I'm happy with the amount of coverage I have, and I am. The least amount, the key is to use the least amount of this cream foundation to get the coverage and the look that you want, okay? Because it's very lightweight, highly pigmented, and we don't want to look like we have a ton of makeup on, okay? Usually, we don't. <laughs> the next step is um, to go in and add some brightening. And I'm just going to use this end of that detail hack brush and pick up a brightening shade, which is also another highlight. This might be a highlight color that would be someone's all over color. But for me, in my skin tone, it happens to be one that I use to brighten. So as you can see, sorry guys, this one here, there we go. This was the mango, which is a little bit darker. And then see how this one's a little bit more neutral and a little bit lighter. And that's what I'm going to use for my brightening color. So I'm going to pick up again, just two little taps on this small little brush. And I'm going to come in and brighten on the inside of my eye, right there, because that gets dark. And then I'm going to bring it down the side of my nose. And then I'm going to just kind of feather or stipple out a little bit of brightener underneath my eye area. And up above my contour and kind of kind of like this almost a little V swoopy. Can you see? So there you go. Can you kind of see that pulling forward the brighter? Do a little bit over here. And we'll blend all this in. I, For me, because I am older and I have um, pretty pronounced under eye puffiness and some pretty pronounced bagginess in these lines here, I'm avoiding putting, I'm doing this weird little look here so you guys can see my, see those deep indentations there? I don't want to put, for me, I don't want to put the brightener right in that area. I just want to leave the the concealer that I had used up there to kept, to conceal and push that back. And then the brightener I'm going to put below it because for me, I don't want to pull forward and define those areas. Kim, it, Kim you, you look so beautiful in this makeup. It really is awesome makeup and it, I don't know, I'm putting a little bit down the side of my nose or the t down the bridge of my nose to pull that forward. And then another place to brighten this triangle of light that we want to pull forward is just right up here in between our kind of our eyebrows, just this area right in here. Hey Debbie, good morning. So see this kind of area here? I, it's always hard for me to tell in looking into my little tiny phone, putting my makeup on here, what it looks like, but kind of funny looking actually. Defined, contoured, brightened, pulling forward the center of my face. And now we're gonna blend, the fun part. So, I'm just gonna take this side. I, here's that bronzer and blush brush. I'm, brush. I'm just gonna use this side again. I really love it, it's super soft. And I'm gonna start blending. So the, I, mean, I start at the top, and here where I have this harsh line between the contour and my highlight foundation color, 
it's almost a pouncing and a stippling motion. And where those two lines meet, now that the makeup is warmed up on my skin, see that? There we go. I've blended and softened. I still have that shadow up here defining my forehead and kind of narrowing it and giving me some definition to my face. Here where I have the brightener, I'm just gonna kind of pounce it up and soften. Then we're gonna come down here, we'll pound underneath the eye. Soften and pounce over my nose area. So this is just blending now by pouncing. This brush has, you know, doesn't really have any makeup on it. I don't have to clean my brushes off. That's another nice thing. You don't have to have a separate brush for your blush, a separate brush for your contour, a separate brush for your makeup, your main foundation. All of these brushes are dual purpose. They're all made to work with cream, our, our cream makeups. And since everything is made to kind of blend and work together, you just keep so here I'm softening, you just, you just go right over the top of stuff. You don't have to clean them off in between or have separate brushes. You can get away with just this brush. You can do your whole face with just this brush. You can do your whole highlight contour, your whole hack, as we call it, with just this brush. You know, it's fun to have a variety of brushes because some of them do different things. You have your favorites. But truthfully, all of these brushes, this brush could do your contour by just pinching it softening it can do your it does your blush it does your bronzer it does everything so all right let's see did I blend enough I don't sometimes I end up blending like almost all of my contour out but I really just want that contour to be a shadow underneath my cheekbone here a shadow up here and of course down here on my neck all right so now in my compact so on this side I had um, a couple of my my contour my kind of primer for my pores these are my two foundation colors this creates my main foundation two colors this is what you get color matched to usually two shades that create your foundation this is my bronzer and I think I'll use a little bronzer at the end tonight just to kind of brighten It's a cream bronzer then over on this side I have some of my favorite lip and cheek colors um, this one's a contour color that you can line your lips with. And then I've got some eyeshadow and an eyeliner. So I'm going to pick up a cream, one of our lip and cheek colors. I think I'll just use nude today. Um, it's very, very pretty. It's this one right here. And I can just use, there's that same brush. I'm gonna tap into the nude. Just pick up a little. I didn't, as you can see, I didn't clean this brush off. I don't need to clean it off. I'm just gonna tap it right in. And I'm gonna apply some right here at the, right above the apples of my cheeks, right above the contour and then just kind of up towards my, towards the side of my hair, up towards my face, right? Up the side of your, whatever you call this, your face. <laughs> Hello. I better take a sip of coffee here, okay? And pouncing, look at how it already warms up on your skin. And this is nude. It's a beautiful color that everybody can wear. Really, really soft, pretty color. Two more taps, super pigmented. $14 for a little tin of makeup, like another gal was asking us, kind of the cost. And your lip and cheek colors, again, are gonna last you forever. They're cream, and look at how little I used. I just did a little tiny tap, that's it. I mean, it's so pigmented. And then I'm pouncing because it's warming up on my skin. And just adding that, okay. So that's a nice, that's a great color, I love that. I can put that on my lips. I can either just apply it with my finger or a brush. Just a little bit of color. Just a little blush. A little blush of color. It's just a nice nude color. It's really nice. Just put a, pull a little color there. Um, okay, lip and cheeks on. I just put some mascara on this morning when I um, first got up and I got my Perfector sponge. Um, prepped. This is our blender sponge that I use kind of at the very end um, just to kind of press in and lift any makeup so it doesn't get into any of my fine lines or if I accidentally put too much on. All right, next is let's just throw in a little bit of eyeshadow. Um, it's Sunday. I am just going to put just a, this is our eyeshadow everything brush. This color is called Cupcake. It's just a great neutral, brighten your eye. I like it because it's it's just, what well, you can see, it's just almost a cream. It's a matte. It doesn't have any shimmer, which is awesome for, for older eyes because, you know, sometimes those shimmers can make our eyes look a little crepey. 
they kind of they tend to show. This is just a nice nice color to put on your lid. And then I'm just gonna grab a little bit of um, this Black Friday cream eyeliner. I'm just gonna put a little bit down by my lashes just to line the outside of my eyes. Just a very simple, just kind of add a little def definition to the outside, make my eyes pop and look a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna apply that on the outside. It is a cream, which I just love, um, because it goes on so gently. Sometimes some of those pencils, oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna rip my rip my whole eye off. It's just, there's a little harsh. So, just kind of do like a really, just nice kind of fun thick, thick eyeliner with just a little bit of neutral cream on the lid. And I think that's good. Just kind of make my eyes pop just a little bit. And then, don't forget your eyebrows, ladies, please. Um, the nice thing about having this makeup is that all of these cream contours and highlights are really versatile and you can use them in so many different ways. Like some of the lip and cheek colors, like even this one here, you can actually use as eyeshadow. Um, I could even put a little bit of nude on my eyes. Let me do that. So I kind of put down, so I can take, this is just a little multitasker brush, I could even use my finger, but I can just take a little bit of this nude cream isn't that pretty? And I can use that on the outside. Always harder to switch over and do the other side, your non-dominant. And take my eyeshadow everything brush and just soften that. So this is this is the this is the cheek. This is the lip and cheek I just put on. My lips and cheeks. Pop it on your eyes. Multi. The eyeliner does not smear. It's a cream. It's awesome. It's a cream eyeliner. Fits right in your palette. It's called Black Friday. And it's almost like a dark graphite. It's not really harsh. So everything being cream like that is just amazing. I love it. So um, I just popped a little bit of the lip and cheek color on my eyes. I love that. Easy. Everything now is just kind of monochromatic. Simple, easy, all in one. Eyebrows though, same thing. Multi-purpose makeup, all-in-one compact. This is our, this is one of our little brushes. It's called a hotline brush. It's just great for, for lining your eyebrows and it's got a little spoolie. But remember how I used this color called Ash was my contour? Well, since it works already with my skin tone and my coloring, which is a little bit cooler, I can use it on my eyebrows. It's already a cream. So it works almost like an eyebrow pomade and I just take and I just flick that right in to my eyebrows and I can line the bottom of them and I can come out and line, add the little tail and line them and then switch over with your spoolie and just give them a little brush and that's going to hold because it's cream. So how fun is that to have all of that just in one compact like that? You don't have to have a separate tube or a separate... A little container of eyebrow pomade. You can just have it all in one. Let me add some more, make sure I finish. So I'm just flicking up the color. This is the ash contour that I used as my main contour. And I'm actually just using it as an eyebrow pomade. And then I'll flip over this hotline brush and just with a little spoolie. Now I've got some eyebrows for the day. So Super simple. Last step is to set your makeup cream foundation. You definitely need to set it with a setting spray. Um, so just right now, this happens to be um, our setting spray from mascara, which we will have back in stock here, hopefully in a few months. But right now it's being, um, the bottle's redesigned, but there's a lot of great setting sprays out there. You just want to look for a setting spray that works with cream foundations. You can find even find some that have SPF in them, so that's kind of nice. Um, what else, you guys? I think that's it. Oh, I know what I wanted to ask. Um, oh, and I'm going to put some bronzer on. Uh, but do you guys have a favorite um, dry shampoo? <laughs> I need a brand of dry shampoo that everybody... I, I need to... Yeah. Who, who would like... Who can share some favorite dry shampoos? Um, Sue, setting powder. Thank you, Lois. Simple, simple. Setting powder. So I use, because my skin is normal, it used to be very dry, but now that I use the cream foundations, it is pretty much normal. It's compounded to more of a normal. 
Um, but if you have more of a combination or oily skin, you would finish your makeup like we just did. You would then set it with a setting spray and then, oh, thank you guys. Yes, please tell me the different um, dry shampoos that you love. You can take a, set, a translucent setting powder so something like this, this translucent air spun Cody. We actually have a little tin of translucent setting powder that you can pop right into your compact. So what you would do if you are oily or combination and need that extra setting is after you do your whole makeup completely done, setting spray on, this is the last thing you do, you're gonna pick up some of that translucent setting powder. I like to use the, my sponge and in those areas where you need to have that extra setting, you're going to pounce some of that on. So like if you're in your T-zone, if you're someone that gets really oily or have movement throughout the day, can you see how I'm, I'm really putting it on pretty heavy? I don't usually have to use it because I don't, I live in a drier area and I have normal skin. I don't have dry skin, so I, I mean, I don't have oily or combination, but if you do. So can you see that, Sue? I'm letting it set for a few minutes and then I'm just going to take one of the brushes and then I'm going to brush off the excess. And that'll help set those areas. There you go. That'll help set it, okay? Um, if you are going to do that, you do that and then what you'd want to do if you want to add a little illuminator, some of those really fun shimmers right here, like this one's called Rose Gold, you would do that, you put your setting powder on and then you come in and add your illuminator after. So that way you don't put the setting powder over that fun illuminator and dull that pretty shine. Can you see that? That little shimmer, that's rose gold. That's one of our illuminators. And they're cream too, which is really fun. You can put a little down the end of your nose just to add a little bit of shimmer. Okay, and then if you want to, at the very end, if you want a little extra glow, you can take um, a little bronzer and the big fluffy end of the bronzer brush. This is a cream bronzer. And just come in and just hit a few areas where you would normally put bronzer, where you would like a little bit of glow, a little sun-kissed warmth into your nose. And that just gives you that extra glow. The neat thing about this cream bronzer is that it, again, is cream. This big old bronzing brush is awesome because it only picks up a little bit so you're not accidentally getting way too much on. It just fluffs on just the nice amount. So I need to try some of your guys' dry shampoos. Please, please. I've heard such good things about, is it Monet? I want to try some of that. I definitely need to. If anybody has a hookup, let me know. <laughs> um, all right. Done. Happy Sunday, everybody. Um, I'm going to try really hard to get up and do my wake up and makeups every day for the next week or so. It's just fun and it's good practice for me with my business. And if you guys want to get color matched um, while you're home right now, just go out, find a nice naturally lit window, face that window, turn all the lights off behind you and take me a couple of no makeup selfies and then message me and I will let you know how you can upload those selfies to me and get a free consultation on what colors would work for you. So good to see everybody again this morning. Please enjoy your wonderful day. Please spend time, take good care of each other, spend time with your family and um, pick up the phone and call somebody. <laughs> call a couple friends today. Sunday afternoons are perfect for that. So Thank you so much, and everybody take good care. All right, bye-bye.